Hello, my name is Nikki and I'm here to welcome you to a creative art session with Suffolk Libraries. Today we will be creating these wonderful bookmarks and they are easy to do and I will talk you through each step by step. First, you will need some basic items which you may have at home or you can purchase easily online. Masking tape, watercolours or inks, a brush, a hole punch, either a black sharpie or a brush pen and some watercolour paper, preferably something quite thick. I've used 350 for my bookmark, 300 GSM is also good also. The thinner your card, the more likely your bookmark will warp. But not to worry if you can't find anything that is as thick as 350 GSM. To begin with, you'll need to cut a rectangle shape. Mine measures 210 millimetres in length and 50 millimetres width. And to begin with, you will need to create a border with your masking tape around your rectangle piece of card. Just five mils in is sufficient. And I will need you to take this all the way around the outer edge. Once you're happy with that, you then need to grab your paints, inks, watercolours, whatever you have at hand, and start to create some puddles of colour. There's no technique to this, and you can mix as many different shades as you like. Just demonstrating here until your inner rectangle is completely covered. If you don't have access to thicker card or uh, any paints or pencil or any paints or acrylics or inks, you can use coloured pencils as well. And if I just give you an example, this is particularly um, better if you've only got thin paper. And once again, it's just so that you get this lovely rectangle of colour in the centre of your bookmark. Okay, this is where I haven't quite got time on my side, but once your bookmark is dry, you can then get out your pen. I prefer to use black. And draw your tree. If you set your tree at, a, at the side of your piece of work then it has more artistic license. To create something that is eye-catching. You can add as much detail or as little detail as you like. When you're completely happy with your design, it is then time to remove the masking tape around the edge of your bookmark. This might be a little wet still, but it just gives you the idea. And then by removing the masking tape, you have your design inside and all that you have to do next is punch a hole in the top and create a tassel. Going back to the original designs that I have had more time to complete. As you can see, I have just used wool, you could use string, just to thread through the top. 
You can make a pom-pom or a tassel. This is similar to a pom-pom. Thread a bead on it and then you have got a fantastic bookmark for future use or to give as a gift. I hope you've enjoyed this and um, you'll come back again and do some more art with Suffolk Libraries.